I'm Tay Flowers and the name of my agency is Tay's Travel Club. I have been in business for about, I'm going to say 2020s when I started, but I've been an agent for longer. And um, I specialize in more mommy group travel that wants to take a break from life, had probably a recent trauma and just want to just need a refresher and get back. So four day getaways. Before, before finding you on the internet, I was pretty much all over the place, downloading every PDF, enrolling in every free webinar, just, just taking the time to do everything and not accomplish anything. I wasn't really focused on anything. I truly had ADD working at its best. <laughs> and so I finally um, found you and started going to your Wednesday night, I want to say, yeah, I on Facebook. Yep. and you, you definitely just spoke to me and I was like, you know what, there's a pandemic, people are not traveling as much. This is a time to get the operational foundation together since I'm going to open up my agency to outside outside of my friends and family so i said this is a time for me to make sure i'm professional and get, put myself out there to where people don't think i'm scamming them or you know trying to take their money <laughs> so at that time which it has morphed a couple times but at that time i was going through a divorce and actually i think i just completed it and it took so long it was lengthy it took so much out of me I, it took my money. I wasn't able to travel on my own like I used to, you know, with my kids. So my divorce took about 24 months and I was celebrating with 24 trips to, um, you know, just get back out there and just release everything. It was called the Emancipation of Tay Tour. And I just, um, love <laughs> I just still love that. I had a logo and everything, had some hashtags. And when I started doing it, uh, well, I figured, let me become an agent so it can be cheaper when I do it. So when I started doing it, everyone um, saw my story and my timeline on Facebook, and they all wanted to join. So me not really knowing how to do it, I was just using suppliers with my host agency at that time, just doing it. All of a sudden, I started getting money. Like, oh, it's a real, real check here. So let me, let me look at this. So basically, it was born out of pain. It really was born out of pain and frustration and um, I felt like I didn't have my, my economics weren't there, my resources weren't there. And then now I've morphed to a more, not more of I'm gonna get back at you, but more of a celebration. And also focusing on a lot of mothers who've come out and reached out to me because of my story that just wanna take a break from just everyday overwhelming life. Just a quick break, they have to go back to work, they have to go back to the kids, things like that. So it's more now of a, I, would, I don't want to say retreat, but just a break away from everyday life. Um, I'm going to have to say, like, like I told you before I stalked you, before <laughs> um, I talked to you. <laughs> I laughed because I totally forgot that you said that. So oh, yeah, I, that. I definitely, I was watching you. And then I, I even got um, a hold of some of your old funnels. I know my email is floating out there somewhere. But I'm like... She's not answering this. Just let me go to another one. So, you know, um, I really, um, I, I needed you to help me hone in the skills in order to not only um, have the op operational foundations, but also to put me out there. I, I seem like I'm an extrovert, but I'm not really at heart. I'm an introvert, and you made us, um, you made us put ourselves out there and really see what it was like to attract clients effortlessly. So that connection with you, I, I felt that when I talked to you initially, so that was really um, a genuine feeling I liked and I was ready ready to go in, all in. Um, you're on Central Time, I'm on Easter because I'm in Orlando, Florida. I'm and Easter now, so I'm, I'm, oh, you're I'm Easter now? last year, yeah. <laughs> so I was always not able to come to the meetings, but I would re watch the replays. I was not able to join the live challenge, but I did, um, you know, I watched when you talked about it and it's amazing. I learned a lot from not only you, but other people sharing their experiences on the replays that um, I took from their, you know, trials and their failures or their triumphs. I took from them and then that's what I did in order to um, finally enter a challenge for the group. So, um, I'm going to say I did go live for that in order to make sure I was able to get more group members. 
Uh, I cannot stand it. Uh, <laughs> you know, the internet is the internet has no chill. If I say something wrong, you can take a meme or a gif, and then like it'll be viral, and you know that's scary to me. I don't want someone to like have that make, embarrass me on it. But I got over it because I know, just like I saw you and connected with you, they needed to see me and connect with me. So I was like, you know what? I just gotta, just gotta do it. So I did it, and um. I um I don't do it as much. That was you know that I had to because because you made us. But um I don't do as much. Um, <laughs> and um I'm thinking about um changing up my style a little bit, changing up my my content that I give them so that way um it can be more effortless for me. Um but yeah, going live uh, <laughs> do do not recommend, but must but must do. <laughs> I would say two things. One part would be, like they said, um, show up and show out. Showing up in my group, showing up um, and speaking to them. Uh, I used to, I still blog, but as you stated, it's not the same. Text is tiring. We need quick videos or someone speaking to me live that can answer back right away. And so that is when I gained more um, followers and more people who wanted to um, inquire about you know, travel with me. So I would say showing up and then showing out, like Nicole stated, being a product, being a part of your product of your brand. I, I still travel. And when I do post all of my pictures, that's when I get the inboxes. That's when I get the questions and I send out my little questionnaire form. Like, okay, well, fill this out and then we'll talk. But you know, I'm on vacation right now. So, you know, that part, you know, showing up and showing out with um, what I can provide so they can see it. But then also, I feel like I was kind of like an unconventional student of yours because of everything else going on um, in my life as far as like here, being in Florida with COVID Central, um, being a pharmacist, so in a healthcare field, having to deal with that, getting off at seven o'clock PM, and trying to rush and get here and to be a part of um, the videos, it taught me to. Um, it taught me that I need to concentrate on progression and not perfection. Oh. I was so stuck on making sure that everything was perfect and it would stall me and hold me back before, but it showed me that hey, this is okay. I got the basics down. Go forward, but then. You always come back and tweak, tweak it, do something different. But you need to progress in order to get to the goal and stop worrying about being perfect. Um, perfect. So I was so I had imposter syndrome really, really big. So but it's funny you asked. Last night I just posted in my group on my personal page and on IG. We're getting ready for crop over 2022. So we're going to be in Barbados for their carnival and um, ready to get those costumes together. I, I went in 2019, but, you know, COVID stopped me for 2020 and 2021. So we're ready to uh, take part in all of that. <laughs> and then um, I also have um, other small group travels with mothers, uh, one being Arizona and one being Turks and Caicos plan. And then a spring break trip for local moms with their kids to go to Aruba in March. Uh, past that, I try to do four four groups a year, mm -hmm. but I also have, um, I think I talked to you earlier about me starting my Amazon store. So ah. it's pretty much uh, Taze Travel Essentials. I'm on Taze Travel Essentials. I so. love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> so everything I forget or everything I, um, I lose, but and then I'm like, dang, I can't believe like my AirPods, everything yeah. that I lose or forget, I have it up there. Even shades, trying to look cool. And I wanted to um, come out with my own line of passport covers and luggage um, tags. And, and then of course I still sell my itineraries. Um, like you said, know your price point, know your your clients. So I had to come down on the price, I guess, for them. But I got, I got I'm still selling my itineraries. Um, but I made it more digital to where I don't have to be a part yeah, of it. A part of the process. Right. I just do perfect. it. Yeah. So that's pretty much what I travel itineraries or pre prepaid itineraries and my Amazon store um, that I plan on bringing people using that to get people back to my website to actually have travel booked. Uh, 
Uh, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to tell you before starting this program, I had so many great ideas swimming in my head. I didn't know where to start with them. And I would um, start one and then I'd scroll and I'd start another one and never complete anything. Mm -hmm. But I promised you at, in our first conversation, I would, you know, commit and just only do your program. Even though I was probably signed up for like five others. I only want to complete it. <laughs> I have been known to do that as well. <laughs> Because, you know, cause the thing is, when you spoke to me, you spoke my language, you know, you sounded like me and mm -hmm. I feel like I can be myself um, because that's what I want to be to my um, my audience. You know, they hear pharmacists, they think they're about to hear a whole bunch of high tech medical words. And uh, no, at home, I am trained. I'm, I'm Tay <laughs> from Gainesville, Florida. <laughs> you know, I'm not. <laughs> Oh, I'm not that. I'm just, I'm the one my mom knows. So I want to relate and I related to you that way. So I will say before meeting you, I was operating at negative 10% per month, meaning I had to give money out of my check to help my business stay afloat. And then I will say by now, at least I've gotten 30% of my actual full-time pharmacist salary uh, this year. And that's working part time. So now I am. My goal would be to get at least fifty percent because I know I'm still not ready to make it uh, full time. But that's also another goal. Maybe in about a couple of years, turn pharmacy into part time, turn travel into full time. So we'll see how that goes. But I have so many ideas, and I always have to think about you know, it's stop, concentrate on one, and you know roll that out and then see how that does and go on to the next one but i'm operating in the black now and no longer in the red so that's always a great thing <laughs>